Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we're going to talk about mobile home loans. Many subscribers have asked what kind of loan we have and about the different kinds of loans. So I thought I would sit down and discuss loans that are applicable for mobile home buying. The two loans that we will that will mean the most to you as a mobile home buyer are FHA and conventional. FHA loans allow lower credit scores than conventional loans do and are easier to qualify for, whereas conventional loans allow slightly lower down payments. Here are some factors to weigh when considering an FHA loan versus a conventional loan. So let's start with a discussion of your down payment funds and credit score. Minimum down payments. FHA loans have a minimum down payment of 3.5% for people with a credit score of 580 or higher. Some conventional loans allow a 3% minimum down payment, but is reserved for borrowers with credit scores in the high 600s and an ample savings. Credit scores, FHA loans, which are easier to qualify for with a minimum of 580 to be eligible to make a 3.5% down payment. If your credit score is 500 to 579, you may qualify for an FHA loan, but with a 10% down payment. Conventional loans typically require a credit score of at least 620. Now, debt to income ratio. Your debt to income ratio or DTI is the percentage of your monthly pre-tax income that you spend to pay your debt, including mortgage, student loans, auto loans, child support, and credit card payments. The higher your DTI, the more likely you are to struggle with paying your bills. Your DTI must be in 50% or less range to qualify for an FHA loan. Conventional loans allow your DTI rations to be up to 50% in most cases. Next, we'll talk about mortgage insurance. This is an important factor to consider. Mortgage insurance protects the lender in case of default. Conventional loans require borrowers to pay for mortgage insurance if their down payment is less than 20%. FHA loans require mortgage insurance regardless of the down payment amount. FHA mortgage insurance premium costs the same no matter your credit score. Private mortgage insurance on conventional loans costs more if you have a low credit score, but may cost less than FHA insurance if your credit score is above 720. FHA mortgage insurance premiums last the life of the loan if you make a down payment of less than 10%. You can get rid of mortgage insurance by refinancing to a conventional loan. In contrast with a conventional loan, Private mortgage insurance is automatically automatically canceled if the conventional loan equity reaches 78% of the purchase price. Both FHA and private, private mortgage insurance costs vary, and that depends on the size of your down payments. So next, we'll talk about loan limits. Both conventional and FHA loan limits limits the amount you can borrow. FHA loans can be up to $300,000 and conventional loans $500,000, give or take. Your credit score and DTI will determine what type of or what amount of loan that you qualify for. Property standards also weigh a factor. When you get an FHA loan, you have to live in the house you buy as your primary residence. Investment homes that are being flipped or sold within 90 days, vacation homes, they will not qualify and are not eligible for FHA loan investments. 
investment properties and vacation homes, however, you do qualify for those under a conventional loan. So let's summarize the loans we talk about. Conventional loans require a um, slightly higher credit score. They have a smaller down payment. Uh, you get your own insurance and the property standards are a little lax. With FHA, they allow a lower credit score. You have a higher down payment. Uh, insurance is mandatory unless you refinance to a conventional loan and there are stricter property standards. So in essence, the borrower with credit scores less than 620 wouldn't qualify for a conventional loan. So FHA is most likely the best bet for them. Borrowers with credit scores of 720 or higher would usually get a lower payment per month. So conventional loan would be ideal for them. And if you have 720 or lower, then the FHA loan would be ideal for you because the uh, payment would be less. So end of the day, if you talk to a mortgage officer, they can help you determine the best loan for you. I hope that was a lot of information compacted into one. I hope you find it useful. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Have a great day.